Hey everybody, welcome back to 60 Parsecs. We're day 42, some crazy stuff just went down. You can see we were down a couple crew members, but we gained one. So if you missed that, uh, he was cloned in here by some nano machines. <laughs> uh, I don't know, it's crazy, it's crazy. Uh, we do have the ability soon to send him out on uh, a bit of an expedition. We need to finish this mask and then we need to make some food Feed him, send him out there, and then make food, 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 food. Um, we have a lot of a lot of power available, so I think the only way to really use that is by upgrades. But I might have to get into like crafting things just to exchange for chemicals. But on this uh, on this assembly line, there are chemicals, so if that works out, then I hope we're just going to be okay for a while. Now, my metal detector is showing a piece of ancient robot technology bird a few paces from the shuttle. I don't know how this is possible, but it's a coffee maker. It's a fancy one. <laughs> Do robots even drink coffee? Anyway, the coffee maker isn't buried too deep. You could probably get to it with your bare hands. It seems to still be functioning. Do you want to dig it up? I guess so. Okay. Watch. Giant- Oh, we're starving. What? You and Tom dug up the fancy coffee maker and discovered it was still full of beans genetically engineered to meet robot taste. Meaning the longest lasting and best tasting in the universe. They were still good. You sat and shared the most amazing cup of coffee of your lives, philosophizing for hours about how the robots were able to perfect this once exclusively human art form. Crafting completed for the mask. I'm starving. And he's glad to have- so I guess that's like a bonding moment, right? Look at his sweet beard, too. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. So. We have the mask. Now, he's not starving. Which means that I'm gonna focus on getting some soup for the captain here. Okay, here we go. Shuttle's in danger. We have the mask, but if this mask breaks, then I can't use it on the mission. <laughs> We're on the path of a vicious gale of nasty chemical composition, which is threatening to sabotage our air filters. They need to be protected, but I lost the remote control due to micro damage from the winds. They have to be closed manually. This toxic tornado is close enough that going out there without the proper equipment would be suicide. If you can do anything, now is the time. So, it sounds like with these chemicals, if we don't do this, then we could get sick, and then that sets us back like multiple days from the, having to make the uh, med kits. So, yeah, let's let's use the mask. Hopefully it doesn't break. And uh, we can feed the captain tomorrow. And then make another one in a couple days. Feed him. Send him out. Always got to be adapting. Come on now. Day 44. Let's go. That was a close one, Captain. It's a good thing you had the proper gear to get out there and manually close the air filters. Even with the mask, braving the toxic winds wasn't something you'd like to do again. The shuttle will get a bit stuffy before I have a chance to filter the fresh air, and it beats suffocating to death. Once the winds pass over us, we'll reopen the filters, everything will turn back to normal. Stomach is empty. Crafting complete for soup. Tom is starving. He should eat something. Okay. First, soup for you. Yes. Second, let's, uh, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I don't really want to wait the extra day, so I'm going to recycle the lighter. Captain, my weather system is detecting a storm on the horizon. It's moving so fast it will hopefully pass by tomorrow, uh, but this one could get nasty. Thunder, lightning, gale force winds, sharp objects howling at you from every which way. I like to keep monitoring the storm's movement throughout the night, but doing so will require my sensors to run on battery power, which we don't have, as it is unadvisable to leave the main generator actor through a storm. What do you want to do? I want to, I want to pray. I don't want to hope for the best. That's what that's what I'd like. Okay, soup for the captain. <laughs> Jeez. Then uh, with the recycled materials. Okay. Okay, the lighter didn't break either, so that's nice. Oh wait, does this mean minus? Hold on, we'll check after. I think it means minus lighter. <laughs> you chose to wait out the storm rather than run the monitoring systems. Yeah, the lighter's gone from behind the head. Um. On battery power. The wind shrieked and brutal rain pelted against the walls of the shuttle, but that was it. By morning, the weather was calm again. He spent the morning sifting through the washed up junk piles, but it was just a bunch of waterlogged crap. Captain, SOS signal received a while ago is still going strong, but I cannot predict for how long. Why you take action soon? Working on it. If you want to examine the source of the SOS signal, suggest heading to the old assembly line. Yes. 
Yes. He is starving. We'll make soup for him. And then tomorrow, we feed him the soup and we send him out. Right? I wonder how that works. I wonder if I just send it with him as like a... Maybe I just send it on the expedition with him. Our water recycler is overheating. The overheating itself isn't the problem. The system has safeguards. The problem is, is we store our minerals under the water recycler. I'm worried that any minerals there, even leftover traces, could melt or boil if exposed to too much heat. Could be hazardous. Manual research could work, but it will be tough. How many minerals do we, we have? Quite a few minerals that we can't really afford to lose because we need those for like all of this other stuff, right? So, yeah, I think we need to do that. Try the manual reset. And I guess on the next day, we'll feed him. I won't send food because it is a shorter expedition, right? It was like two days. Yeah, I won't send food with him. I'll try to have food for him when he comes back. We'll feed, send, hopefully he survives here, and then, yeah. No skeleton, please. No skeleton, please. Okay, okay. Well, that didn't work, so we lost all our minerals anyway. You opted to manually reset it. The job is harder than you expected. The Astro Citizen patented water recycler guide specifically warns against not releasing any steam jets during such repairs. The steam jets you let lose vaporize some of the exposed minerals stored to the recycler. You're lucky it didn't vaporize you too. Great. That's, that's great. All right. Now, eat this soup. Go out here to the assembly line. Oh, it's radioactive now. It changed. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no. That's the one. I was confused with the other one that we were going to check for the gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're good. We're good. So you go out here. And take the mask. And good luck to you, sir. Let's make more soup. Captain, intoxicated robot wearing nothing but a robe and slippers has stumbled up to the shuttle. Says his name is Robotsky. And claims he was drugged by a visiting band of nihilist aliens who poured coolant on his rug. I don't know what to make of any of this. Lazy robots, nihilist, soiled rugs. Maybe you should help this guy. I, you know what? I totally would. I totally would if I could. Absolutely. All right, Tom. We'll see you in a couple days. Best of luck out there, champion. Okay. We did not help Robotsky with his predicament involving the nihilist aliens and the coolant soiled rug. Robotsky slurred something about needing a white robo before stumbling off. Only after he was gone did you realize that he was probably a kind of local cocktail. Uh, Tom went to the assembly line. Soup is done. Nice. Okay. Now let's think about this. The only thing that I can do in here is recycle or upgrade. We can upgrade the handbook, which I maybe just makes it more durable. Um, if I upgrade the system, I don't even have other resources to build things that I might want. So I think let's just upgrade the handbook here. We're receiving a coded transmission of unknown origin. This could be a distress signal, message of some sorts, or pretty much anything else. We won't know to listen. Should I play it? <laughs> what if it's like... Ah, oh, God. Yeah, play it. Watch it be like mind control. Come on now, day 48. We're starving, but this is fine. We received transmission yesterday. Turns out it was a message from another group of survivors lost in space pleading for help. Unfortunately, it's impossible to pinpoint the exact location. Uh, however, the knowledge that you are not alone out here makes it makes you feel much better, mentally at least. Who knows? Maybe you'll find out one day. So we're starving now. Uh, I, I'm wondering, like, how long can we push starving status? You know? Like, I wonder if it's the step scale or if it's just this will get us back to hungry. Or will it, you know, because we're in the first level of starving, will it get it back to, like, the top level of, of hungry? Like, I don't know that kind of stuff. But either way. Uh, yeah, there's literally... Nothing I can do here. This would give me 20 to recycle. Um, when he comes back, we're ho hopefully if his mission works out, um, should be okay. 
we'll have a whole bunch of chemicals, but. Somebody left a board game outside your door. <laughs> Robumanji. It's Jumanji, get it? Hey, look, the pieces are little robot explorers. Cute, but this is weird. I'm reading a vast energy signature emanating from the game board. Well, I've never seen anything like this. My calculates are showing, no, that can't be right. The gem in the middle of the game board contains a micro universe. <laughs> be careful, Captain. <laughs> oh, this, what if we just die from playing Jumanji? I'm sorry, Robumanji. Yeah, of I can't not play Robumanji. Uh. Oh, look, it's Cosmos 102 now. Ah, that's the upgrade. Okay, is Tom coming back today or is it tomorrow? Well, you chose your game piece, a robot with a tan safari hat and a monocle. <laughs> That's so cool. Then sat down to play Robu Manji. As soon as you touched the board, the shuttle shook and your vision was filled with green light. But that wasn't any ordinary game, Captain. It contained advanced technology with the power to alter reality. The game chooses its players and refusing it has a cost, as does failing its trials. So we lost, uh, I guess, most of our stuff. But, I mean, could be worse. I found something interesting on the surface of the planet. Looks like somebody passed their time playing a supersized version of Tic-Tac-Toe, but never completed this particular game. The game pieces consist of minerals that we could use. Now, I'm not one for ruining someone else's fun, but I think the winner is clear by looking at the board. So they shouldn't mind if we mess up their X's and O's. Should we take the liberty of gathering those pieces and using them as resources? Yes. Absolutely. Our AI would never lead us astray, would they? So Tom should be back today, then we can make so much food. It's gonna be good. Oh, we got, okay, minerals. Wait, oh, okay, good. The dismantling of the supersized tic-tac-toe uh, was a success. That's where the minerals came from. Whoever abandoned it was nowhere to be seen, and you returned with quite a hefty load of minerals. Now, they were a bit hard to carry to the ship, being ginormous and all, but you performed splendidly. That'll teach them to leave their toys lying at the door, or planet surface in this case. I'm sure nobody will mind. Tom returned from his journey to the assembly line. He looks tired, a bit hungry, and shaken. He says the assembly line is old and deserted. The automatons void it. Looks like new robots aren't manufactured in this city anymore. The place was dusty and full of toxic gases. Tom was a little too rough with the mask, and it suffered. Tom picked up a bottle of something weird. I'm sure we could find a use for it. Uh, some tools and parts can still be found at the assembly line. Not everything was looted. Tom picked up some tape. No matter how far technology goes, there will always be space for a trusty roll of good old-fashioned duct tape. Now, while searching the upper levels of the assembly, a faint beeping sound caught Tom's attention. This is probably the tracker and the reason we went there. He followed it downstairs to a dusty, cluttered basement and along the deactivated lines to a far corner of the room. The beeping stopped as soon as he approached a rusty body of an old robot, missing a head. Next to it was a small, half-disassembled robotic animal. Must have been some kind of mecha animal and robots produced to keep them company. This one looked like a dog. A chihuahua, to be exact. Tom brought the broken robo-dog to the ship. I'm not sure why. It's deactivated and it looks like a pile of junk. Unless you figure out a way to fix it, it's just clutter. I suppose you could use it as a paperweight? It says the assembly line looks like it has not been active for centuries. Why did they stop expanding the population? Tom is still out on an expedition? I don't think that's true. I've decoded a few signals that have been passed around recently. They all contain a mention of a crashed alien ship. Maybe we are the aliens they're talking about. Tom is really tired. Okay. Make a decision. Now, hold on. So, we could... Oh, we could repair the mask. I thought that maybe... I thought that maybe the um, repair for the robo dog would be here, but I guess not. Huh. Okay. Let's really think about this. Hungry, hungry. We're going to need food, food very soon. Let's see what this is now. Hello there, Captain. Might I ask you why you're going through the files? You're not really meant to see the contents of my digital storage unit. Huh, Protox. Now that's a fun file. Just please don't... Oh no, what have you done? <laughs> you shouldn't have ran the program. Protocol X initiated. That's a secret protocol. It was meant to be an experiment. The consequences of initiating the protocol will be severe. Use your skills and do something. We are pretty bright. So hopefully this is just all good. Here's the robot dog. Needs a lot of work. 
Okay. Huh. Where do we store the mask? Oh, here. It's damaged. I'm going to I'm going to focus on food. I'm going to focus on food for a couple of days. Day 51. Oh, look at him. What? Tom went nuts. What? Despite your best efforts, you weren't able to stop Protocol X. A fear agent has been released through the ventilation shaft, which is why you thought giant rats were crawling all over the ship. I'm terribly sorry about that, Captain. RAI, man. There are a lot of protocols devised by the masterminds behind the Astro Citizen program that should never be initiated. Your sanity has been shaken by your experience, obviously, as has your crewmates. There was no avoiding that, I'm afraid. That's why he's crazy. He's rested, though. That's good. Insane. Okay, so I gotta get... I think I think the sock puppets are for sanity, right? I think I gotta get that going. Now, Captain, it is time for an Astro Citizen activity of utmost importance. The most essential task available on the shuttle, keeping the floor clean. Yeah, sir, look at this disaster. From subtle green stains to a fine coating of skin dust, the place could do with a good scrubbing. Tom looks free. Will you ask him to apply some elbow grease or request he improvises a cleaning formula from whatever we have on board? I don't want him touching anything, to be fair. Just elbow grease it. Okay. A little bit more food. And then... Let's think. Because they're going to be hungry. Then we want to build the sock puppet, which is going to take two days. I guess I could... Start this now. If but if somebody go if if they both go into very hungry tomorrow, we'll have like a two day delay. I'm gonna play it safe. We've been we've been we've come so far. Okay. So yeah. So we're starving now. Uh, Tom didn't mind being a cleaner for the day, as per your wishes, but unfortunately his biceps weren't up to snuff. Two many gross stains left over from your adventures are still there, even after he scrubbed the floor. He was broken by the failure. Now he won't stop rubbing his arms and saying, Why is it all unclean? Everything is grubby. Why doesn't it look like a polished mirror in here? Captain, my sense of detecting groups and individuals circling our shuttle at regular intervals. This is most upsetting. Tom appears to be insane. That's good. That is fantastic. Okay, so you eat. Now... Now we'll make the sock puppet, I guess. Captain, huge construct of some kind approaching the shuttle. It's neither animal nor robot. It's out. It's made out of moving crystal lattices, like a giant walking crystal saurus. That was one hell of a hit. The crystal saurus slammed into the shuttle and is currently scraping the hall open with its claws. But <laughs> I don't know. I think it's trying to extract our minerals. Man, it's gonna get our minerals. There's absolutely nothing I can do about it. I wonder, can I send him... I could send him out here. But we would probably want to take that artifact thing. That's the only thing I could think of that would match up with that. That weird, like, pentagram. Right? Uh, I don't know. And maybe him being insane, too. He just would... Just, it could be a complete and utter disaster. We're gonna eat. This guy's gonna steal our minerals. Working on, on the sock puppet. Try to get him to be not insane. Now, he's starving. That's fine. He remains loyal. Appears to still be insane. We only lost 10. Chose to do nothing about the crystal source attack in the shuttle. It scraped at the hull for a few hair-raising minutes before wandering off. I guess it got what it came for. The standard Astro Citizen program protocol for dealing with monsters of unknown origin, especially when U.S. government property is at risk, is appeasement. Put some of our minerals outside to make the crystal source go away. You know. Or you can thank me later, you know, for saving your life. Okay. One day left there. Take the food. Now. Your attempts to fix the robotic dog found at the old assembly line have been quite a struggle so far. 
You've been fiddling with this loose cable all morning. Can it be removed? Where does it go? And what does it even do? It's been a few days since you found this unfortunate cable sticking out of robot dog's complicated insides. You've been over this countless times, but it remains disconnected. Surely it's important, right? Maybe it activates bringing a newspaper and slippers. Perhaps it's responsible for barking in the middle of the night. Whatever it's for, it must be crucial. You need to figure out a way to reconnect it somewhere anyway. Let's use our trusty logbook here, and it's upgraded. So maybe that will be good. We're feeding him. <laughs> Listen to him. That's hilarious. That's really good. Okay. And then we can uh, get him to use the sock puppet. Nice. He continues to look insane. You consulted your handbook's chapter in electronics and figured out the correct connection. To be fair, you were really close before. All you were trying... Oh, you were trying the right socket. All you needed to do was flip the plug. Nice. So, is he... Oh, he's still not operational. Okay. You need to play with the sock puppet. Um... I wonder what upgrading the expedition system does. Takes two days. Nothing to repair. Or I guess the mask is available to repair. Three days till we can make more food, which is probably right around the time that we're gonna start to go uh, starving. Captain, a hole appeared right next to our shuttle overnight. It's producing smelly vapors and a nasty gurgling. While it's not an immediate threat, I'd appreciate if you made it stop. The smell is foul and the noise is annoying. And both offend my sensors. Uh, it's a hole. We could probably do it with tape. The handbook might give us a better solution. Hmm. Okay, so hold on. Well, I should be crafting something. So maybe get the communicator going again, or I could build this armor. Or we could do a system upgrade with all this power. Let's do this. Let's see what the expedition system upgrade does. By that time, we're going to be very close to being able to craft more food anyway. Okay, Tom's loyal, no longer insane, appears weak. Frick. Uh, the noisy, smelly hole near the ship warranted research. You and Tom compared the illustrations of the handbook in detail. You should have kept your distance. Uh, that it was a snoring chameleon razor tail occurred to you only after it woke up and took off, seriously injuring you as it went. We finally enjoy some quiet, but you need to patching up. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm okay, but he's weak. One day on the suit. Huge energy surge beneath the surface is happening. Seismic waves. I think there's an earthquake coming. The shuttle is sturdy, but this ground isn't. The soil has a high potential to liquefy when the earth hits. There's a better patch of rocky ground a few yards ahead. You can use the shuttle's thrusters to scoot onto it, but if you overshoot, you'll be on even worse ground than you are now. Will you attempt the maneuver? Oh boy. Um... It'll be worse than where we are now. So, it's either <laughs> it's better or worse. 50-50 chance, right? I don't know what, what governs our success here. These are the tough decisions you need to make in space, obviously. Now, high potential to liquefy. Potential. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. Upgrade should be done. Let's pray that nothing bad happened on the ship. Oh, boy. Okay. Tom is in poor health. He's loyal. I'm starving. Oh, boy. You use the shuttle's thrusters to scoot into a better patch of ground, coming to rest on the edge of the rocky soil the moment the earthquake hit. For a few nightmare seconds, the shuttle bucked to and fro like a bad atmospheric entry, but the shaking stopped. You opened your eyes, and the strangest silence followed. Then you laughed. Tom's in poor health, but he's loyal. Expedition systems upgraded. We are starving. Serving a soup would be in order. Okay. Problem. I can 
make soup. But he is weak. I'm starving. I think I'm gonna I'll do the soup first. Whoa, what the <laughs> What is this? How long has this guy been here? <laughs> I'm just noticing him now. I wonder if he's been there a long time. Uh okay. Captain, we're in trouble. It's space. Oh, this he's a space pirate. They're the ones who have been following us. They're ferocious, hungry for soup, and eager to plunder. One of them boarded the shuttle. Stand your ground. Okay. So this is a group measure here. Um, intelligence is the best thing. These guys are probably really dumb. So I'd like to think that maybe we could just convince them. They're like, hey, this probably isn't the best ship for you. You should probably go somewhere else. Yada, yada, yada. Maybe that could happen. God, please don't kill us. <laughs> please don't kill us. Mr. Space Pirate, sir. Day 57. Okay. Any conflict can be resolved with cold, calculated logic you decided. Pulling the reactor emergency venting release was the only logical thing to do. Logically, the attacker was subatomized in a gross kind of way. Good thinking, Captain. Good news. The Space Pirates are on the run. I suspect this is not the last time we'll be seeing them, though. Watch your six. Also, did you notice any... Did anyone notice they were all apes? No? Huh. <laughs> that must have been hit by interference, I guess. You're still facing starvation, Captain. You gotta eat something. Tom's in poor health. Crafting's completed. I'm weak. Tom is starving. Oh my god. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's doable. Ooh. Elder wants to meet us. This could be really good. Um, if they're friendly. I wonder if they could give us food. So I only got a couple of options here. Number one, uh, this thing is damaged. Uh, so if I recycle this, maybe I should just recycle this. Then I could craft a uh, first aid kit, but like, man, is it ever, this is super risky, but it's literally the, the only thing I can do here, I think. Um. I'm not going to go with, like, strength. I think we'll go with agility. I don't know if it matters. We both have the same rating, but... Mm -hmm. We're starving. I think he's been starving for longer. But I can we can't have the captain die. So, you know. Buckle up. Come on, no skeletons! You and Tom danced merrily into the robot camp. The robots only peeked out of their improvised huts at first, but when they saw you came in peace, they came out to greet you. The elder said they'd long outgrown the plague of violence. The robot gave you a firm handshake. You winced as he nearly crushed your hand, but smiled anyway. You did all you could to fix the robotic animal, but both your tool selection and technological know-how were limited. If you're set on mending this sad pile of scrap vaguely reminiscent of a dog, you will have to gather some actual parts from around the planet. My advice is to take a good look at the map, consider what you've already explored. I'm sure robot parts are easy enough to get a hold of around here, but some locations are certainly more promising than others, such as the graveyard or the museum. I appear to be weak. Tom's in poor health. He looks starved. Recycling operation completed. So we got this. So we got it. Okay. So... We're going to take a break here. We have so much stuff. So much going on. They're suggesting we go to the museum or the graveyard. Now, there's a lot of stuff at this graveyard. Shovel, lighter, power. Let's check the museum. The gun might be good for defense. Plus, we don't really need the power. This, uh, the minerals would be better. Both of them require what I think is that artifact. So, before I can go there, we're going to need that artifact. Um, but he needs to get fed, like, like now. So, that we're going to make soup. Um, yeah, and then we'll check that decision. Okay, I'm going to take a break here. We come back. Wish me luck. It's been a struggle, but this is really fun. It's, like, addicting. It's just like, okay, let's, every time I click next day, I'm like, oh, God, please don't die. Please don't die. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're doing all right. So we'll see you guys very soon. Take care and uh, bye for now.